Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at the Flowmaster Flow FX Extreme Single Turndown Exhaust System, fitting 2011 to 2014 5 liter F 150s. If you want to get an aggressive exhaust note out of your F 150 for a really low price, and this is gonna be just the setup you're looking for. While the looks may be stealthy, the sound is anything but. Accordingly, this is gonna get a very, very strong three out of five on our loudness meter. Now this is what Flowmaster themselves describes as a moderately aggressive sound level, so it's gonna be significantly louder than your stock system, but not quite as loud as something like a straight pipe either, or even Flowmaster's own Outlaw series. However, it is also an inexpensive system. It's gonna give you some additional clearance to go with your sound. So if you wanna add some more personality to your F-150, this one might just be for you. Making the Coyote V8 sound good is not something that's hard to do, but keeping the volume in check can make or break the experience. The Flow FX series offers you a deep, powerful exhaust note while still keeping the volume in check, though this particular one being the Flow FX Extreme kicks things up another notch or so. Now, as you heard in the clips at the beginning of the video, this really accentuates the five liters deep rumbly exhaust note, makes it that much more pronounced. This is a catback system, meaning that it's gonna replace your factory mufflers and resonators, so it's gonna open the exhaust up in a big way, because the only muffler you're gonna have left is this one. You get some really strong muscle car vibes out of this one, and you even get a little bit of burble on the overrun. It's got a lot of character to it for sure, but it's not over the top. As you can hear, the muffler's got quite a bit of baffling in there to it. But the exhaust still has a lot of character, but it's not over the top, though it might still bring out your inner child when you really mash the throttle. Now, of course, more noise on the outside means more noise on the inside. And since this is a turn down, this is gonna exit below the cab. So you can expect a noticeable increase in volume inside the cabin of your truck. Again, because this is not gonna exit straight out the back or behind your rear wheels, it's gonna put the exhaust right there underneath of the cab. Again, it's not over the top, but it is something that you and your passengers are gonna take note of. Though it should still be more than tolerable, you're gonna to get to hear that five liter goodness inside the truck as well. And again, because this is a turn down, that means there are no over axle pipes or tips to contend with. It's gonna make installation a real cinch, since you don't have to deal with any of that other stuff, but it also provides you with more ground clearance, since you're not gonna have any pipes hanging out off the back of your truck or even over your axle, so you get a little more clearance there for some articulation. So your departure angle is gonna end up being a little bit better as well. And even if you're not doing a lot of off-roading, a lack of a tip just makes for a pretty sneaky looking setup. Most people aren't even gonna notice anything until you go to fire the truck up. But once you do that, you're certainly gonna know you've got something going on under there. Now, unlike a lot of other exhausts, as you can see, we've got three pieces here on the table. So it's a very simple setup. There's not a ton of piping. And like most of Flowmaster's exhaust offerings, this one is also constructed from 409 grade, 16 gauge stainless steel. And this one's got a three inch diameter. And there are a couple of bends here, really not all that much, but they are still mandrel bends. So it's gonna provide you with good exhaust flow and still give you some solid protection against rust and corrosion. But the simple construction and the fact that it's 409 versus T304 is gonna keep that price quite low. How low exactly, you might be asking? Well, this one is gonna run you about $475, and that makes it one of the most affordable exhaust systems out there for this gen of F-150. So this is a really attractive offering in my book, since you're getting that pretty solid construction, getting really good sound that's not too over the top, plus a super affordable price. So it's gonna make it pretty much right for any build. So if you're not really on the hunt for those dual tips or something like that, this is gonna be a great choice for you. Installation will get a two out of three on our difficulty meter and it should only take you about two hours to complete the job. In fact, you're probably gonna spend more time getting your old exhaust off than you will get in this one hooked up. This utilizes your factory exhaust hanger locations as well, so you don't need to modify anything on your truck. Now, depending on your cab and or bed size, you may need to make a little cut or utilize this larger extension pipe to get everything to fit properly, but everything is detailed in the box as well, and we're gonna show you that process now. So with that, let's head over to the install bay and we'll show you how to get it done. The tools you'll need for this project are an impact gun, a ratchet, a 14 and a 10 millimeter wrench, a 10, a 13, a 14, and a 15 millimeter socket, exhaust hanger removal tool, some spray lube, and a pry bar. Hi everyone, today we're installing an exhaust system on our F-150, but first let's watch a short video on how to uninstall the stock system. So the first step of this install is going to be to remove your factory exhaust system to make room for your new one. 
In order to get started on this, you're gonna to wanna to have your vehicle safely supported on either a lift or jack stands. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start by removing these two bolts here on the inlet flange. It's a good idea to hit them with a little bit of rust penetrant before you remove them. So I'm just gonna spray down the bolt threads and then I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter socket on my ratchet and remove the bolts. So my next step is gonna be remove these two bolts for the hanger in front of the muffler. Now you can just remove the hanger from the rubber isolator if you want, but I find it easier to remove the hanger completely and swap it over to your new exhaust system off of the vehicle. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray the other two hangers with some penetrant and I'm gonna use my pry bar to push the exhaust system back out of the hangers and with the help of a friend, I'm going to lift the exhaust up over the axle and remove it from the truck. Now before we actually get to the install, I just want to point out a couple of things. You'll notice that we have a long inlet pipe here on our system, and we also have an extension that comes with it. Because this kit goes on various different models of this pickup truck, depending on your cab configuration and your bed configuration depends on which one of these pipes, if not both of them, you're going to use. Now, you will only need the extension pipe the short one here, if you have a super crew with a six and a half foot bed, or you have a super cab with an eight foot bed. At that point, you will need to trim this pipe six inches from the end if you have the super crew with the six and a half foot bed. If you've got the super cab with the eight foot bed, you don't have to trim this pipe, you just add it onto the end and everything will work fine. Now everything else, all the other configurations only use the inlet pipe, but if you have a regular cab with a six and a half foot bed, you will need to trim 18 inches off of the end of this. And if you have the super cab with a five and a half foot bed, you'll need to trim 12 inches off the end. Now I know it sounds a little confusing, but all the instructions are written down on a sheet that comes with the kit. I just wanted to give you a heads up as to what we're doing with this, with this kit. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Now our truck is a super cab with a six and a half foot bed, which means what we're gonna use is just the inlet pipe with no extension and we're not gonna have to modify the inlet pipe at all. Now the kit does come with a set of bolts and washers and, and nuts. So we're gonna use the supplied bolts to go ahead and get this attached. So we're just gonna put this up here into the stock fitting, feed the bolt through from the front side, Now you're gonna have a flat washer attached to it, and like I said, we're gonna put a flat washer, a lock washer, and the nut on this side. Now if you've got an extra pair of hands, that's great to help hold up the other end while you're securing this. Now, as you can see, our inlet pipe here is really loosely installed right now. It's just being held in place. And that's because we still have to install the muffler on the end of that and the hangers. So we're just gonna leave it loose right now till we get everything installed and then we'll come back and tighten it up later. Now before we install our new muffler, we need to transfer over this front hanger from the stock system to the new system. To do that, we're gonna be using our exhaust hanger removal tool and a little bit of spray lube to help get it off of the stock system. So we're just gonna spray this a little bit and then use our removal tool and clamp that on and slide it right off. And then we're just gonna transfer it over 
to our new system. Now we can go ahead and get our muffler installed. All right, now before we actually install the muffler, we want to go take our three inch clamp, slide it over our inlet pipe so that it's out of the way. And then we're going to take this rear hanger here and we're going to insert it into the hanger that's in the middle of the truck. And then we'll go ahead and join the two pipes together and hook up our other exhaust hanger. So we'll slide that one in. Then we can bring our pipes together. You want to make sure that it's seated all the way through. And then go ahead and slide our clamp over. Now you want to keep this clamp close to the end of the muffler pipe so that it gets the best grip to secure it. Now we can go ahead and reattach our front hanger here using the original bolt. We'll go ahead and attach our front hanger here with the original bolts. And we'll tighten those down with our 10 millimeter wrench. Now with that hanger in place, we can go ahead and tighten everything else down, starting from the front of the inlet pipe. Now starting with the flanges on the inlet pipe here, we're gonna go ahead and tighten those down first. And you wanna make sure that you tighten these down evenly so that prevent any leaks. So we'll get that done first and then we'll work our way back to the clamp. So we're gonna tighten that down with a 14 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter socket. All right, now we're gonna tighten down our clamp between our inlet pipe and our muffler and using our 15 millimeter socket. And that wraps up our review and install of the Flowmaster Flow FlowFX Extreme Single Exhaust System with Turndown for your 11 to 14 5 liter F-150. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things F-150, Keep it right here at americantrucks.com.